Welcome back to Qtronics. Today I'm going to be looking at a 3D printer upgrade. Now I've recently moved to the Core 1 from the Prusa Mark 4S and on my Mark 4S I had a system that basically balanced on squash balls. Now someone out there, I'll link descriptions, basically did the same sort of design for the Core 1 and it sits on top of squash balls. Anyway, I guess the first question you're asking is, well what are you going to print for it and what the hell is squash balls got to do with 3D printing? So if we head over to the bench camera, bench camera? If we head over to the desk camera, I'll show you. So basically we have this. Now this ultimately will sit underneath the core one, one in each corner. And as you can see, there's a nice little recess here for a squash ball to sit into. Now I'm not pushing all the way in on purpose at the moment. This is a, a PLA test print. I've got actual pet G ones on the machine, but basically, squash ball sits in here like this if I don't break it and then obviously the printer would sit on here and any shakes or vibrations of the table or stuff theoretically the squash ball can mitigate them now squash balls come in lots of different I want to say hardnesses or squishinesses for the lack of a better word and um, I've done a few tests so this is a double two these are the easiest ones to squish the ones that are currently my printer are blue dots and there's also an option of printing your own one. Now, yeah, this is a half sphere, basically. Well, I'd say three-quarter sphere. And this is made out of 95A TPU. So it's got a bit of squash to it. So I've got some tests with that as well. And uh, let's go over that. So basically, the gist is putting the squash balls under the printer. As the printer moves and stuff, it generates high, it generates high frequency vibrations. Now, the core one is renowned for it. There's been quite a few releases recently to try and fix that. But again, if you sat in a desk like I am with my computer and I'm working, having a machine that's quite loud and vibrating doesn't help. So the idea is stuff like this mitigates that. It brings the noise levels down, brings the vibration down, as well as if you're on a desk that wobbles, it can take away some of that wobbliness. Now, I also think you're probably asking, well, shoot, if the printer's on these balls, it'll wobble. And that is right, it will wobble. But because the nozzle, the heat bed, and all the infrastructure wobbles at the same speed, in theory, the printer doesn't see it, and it increases print quality. Um, and I did find that was the case in the MK4S. It wobbled a lot. Now, obviously, taller projects, as you're getting quite a bit of wobble, might be affected. But with the Core 1, theoretically, the wobble's not as bad. It's enclosed, and the bed's not moving back and forward. Obviously, it's just going down. So, yeah... Um, Let's head over to some of those benching results and I'll, I'll talk you through it. With each bench here, I'll throw you up some images of how much wobble and stuff there is. Some video, sorry. And uh, we'll go from there. So, sorry to interrupt your regular viewing of me, but we've got a message from our sponsors. And that's right, our sponsor is... Well, it's me, obviously, because who else is sponsoring me? Anyway, when I got to 1,000 subscribers, I did give away a Nintendo Switch Lite modded. That was a Pokemon version to Jorgen. And basically, it's come to that time of the year again where I'm ready to do a giveaway. So I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So what will I be giving away when I get there? I'll be giving away this Nintendo Switch OLED. Now, I will be modding it when it's due to go, and I will be doing that as the Kamikaze mod. So I'll do a whole video on that. But yeah, there it is. Obviously, it's used, so there will be some blemishes and stuff. But again, it's a competition win, and it will be modded, so you can do what you want with it. And just to... Uh, Add to the uh, the deal here, um, it's boxed as well, so you'll get the nice little box display thing, whatever you want to, you know, people like boxes, what can I say? Anyway, I will be modding it, but I won't be doing any software, there'll be nothing installed, that'll be down to yourselves to do, I'm not messing with that. So obviously if you do want a chance of winning this, firstly I need to get past 2,000 subscribers, so you'll need to subscribe, and then once we get there I'll drop a video with all the information and stuff, so yeah. If you're interested, subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll hand you back over to your regular viewing. Right, see you in a minute. Initially, I have five lovely benches for you to see. Now, I've numbered them all, so I know which one's which because it gets confusing because they all look very similar. And that's a hint here. Um, so I'll just talk you through what each one was through here. So the first benchy, if I show you these off and then I'll show you the footage. So this is the first benchy. Now, 
as you can see, the print quality looks fine. It's so number one here. I'm just taking you all the way through it to give you a good indication. Obviously, we can see that down here, the the bridging isn't the best. But again, it's a bonkers one. It's it's really lightweight. There's not a lot to it. So we're just looking at everything, basically. Looking at the ghosting on the edges. Seeing what we can see. Obviously, the text is basically not eligible. Well, legible at all. There's a few dodgy lines here. So that is the printer as it came standard. I've not done any modifications to it. Now this is the second one. There is a little tiny two there. It rubbed off a little bit though now with handling. So this one was using those double yellow balls that I mentioned. And as you can see, there's not much difference in the print quality here. It's looking very similar. Some blemishes down here. That could just be the printer. But uh, same layer line as well as you can see with the code. Um, bridging looks pretty much the same. Stringing's fine. Um, if I just compare that to the original for a second though, I believe the ghosting on the edge here isn't that bad. It's actually looking all right. Now, obviously with this one, I'll throw some footage up for you. Um, the noise reduction is the most on these two dot balls because they squish quite a lot. But with that, you get a shit ton of vibration. And obviously, it rocks a lot. Now, if you're on a wobbly desk, if you knock the desk, the whole thing would wobble. I'm on quite a solid desk here, so I don't get the wobble. But obviously, what this does mitigate, because it's so squashy, is any of those vibrations coming back to my desk. Um, which, again, when you're working on something all day, you want to kind of avoid that. Um, this technically has the best noise reduction. But yeah, there you go. And then we have our third benching, which basically this was the TPU <coughs> balls, as you can see. And um, if I give you a little flow through it to start with, you can see that again, print quality is about the same. There's a bit more string in here. Now, I don't know if that's just because it's absorbing less vibration or something, but again, I'm not sure why. I think the writing is technically a little bit better. Now this did absorb quite a bit of the vibrations still. Um, again, I'll throw the video up for you. So now you're back here, we'll compare it with uh, the original Benchy with no modifications. And as you can see, it's, it's very, very similar. There's not a lot in it at all. This one here is the uh, the one on the TPU balls. But yeah, I think overall, in terms of print quality, there's I can't I can't tell the difference with these kind of prints. So then we'll uh, we'll move on to our final one. Yes, and I did show you four five benches, but the final one is in two stages. So firstly, this is the uh, the bonkers bench I printed, and now that's on squash balls with one blue dot which are the hardest squash balls and uh, it's the one I've chosen to go with but basically as you can see the print is, is pretty good still there's there's not a line this line here appears on all of them and it's still there and um, the writing is basically non-existent uh, but everything else looks the same I'll show you against that that first one here and um, I think it, it is a little bit better than that first one. But again, the vibration I get from this is reduced the most. You still get a bit of noise. But again, what with this, what you get is it's not as wobbly. So you still get that noise reduction. You still get, you know, more of the softness to stop the vibrations. But also, if you're printing taller things, there's less vibration. So theoretically, you're going to have less issues at the top with layer shifts. But yeah, as you can see, it's... Um, it's all very similar. There's not a, uh, a lot in it. Now, I will put that one away and bring out the fifth benchy. Now, during recording this video, Prusa actually talked about changing belt tensions and the gantry on the core one and reducing vibrations and stuff. Now, I did the belt tensioning, but I didn't change the Prusa slicer purely because it's still in beta at the moment, or alpha, I think it is actually. So I wanted to almost give you that like for like, but with a better tuned belt. And now, as you can see, there's not a lot of difference here. 
Um, the same blemishes and stuff. The ghosting looks very similar. But the noise has come down a little bit. Just purely because of the, the tensioning. Now if we move on to the, the text. Again still the same at the back there. And I, I think overall they're very 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 similar. Same bit of stringing from the middle there. If you can see that. But yeah that, that's it. So basically it, for me what it's boiled down to here is. How much vibration do I want transferred through to my table? Um, with the bog standard feet, it's fine. You can see the print quality on these on these bonkers benches is a lot in it. Um, for comparison, though, I did one more test, and rather than a bonkers benchy, I printed a proper benchy cut into the same version of Prusa Slicer, just to see if we could see any difference between non-supported and the squash balls on a blue dot. So if I bring these out for you, we'll have a look. Now, this one here, which says Estron, and if you can see that text as I spin through, again, part of another video, so keep your eyes out for that, was printed with the latest updates, and um, basically this has had droid filament. So it's the same filament now, but as you can see, I think the ghosted, is less on that corner there than with this is the original in my right hand here. So if I, if I swap them back over, so we block everything else, this is the original and this is the one that's been adjusted since. Now these are fully fledged benches, like I said, proper cut. And as you can see, some of these layer lines have started to go. And I think some of the ghosting on these holes here has gone. There's this weird little line as well running up the hole here that doesn't appear on this one. Um, and if we spin around, yeah, there's the layer line here that you can see there has, has all but disappeared. Um, first layer looks better as well. So overall, with the fully fledged benches, I think having those squash balls has improved it ever so slightly. Um, as you can see, so yeah, that's what we've, we've ended up with now. The question is, would I run out and do this again? And I don't think I would. I think it's it's doing enough for me to reduce vibrations and give me a little bit of sound reduction. But I think the original rubber feet you get with the Prusa aren't actually doing a bad job. And again, I'm on a solid table. So maybe if you're on a more of a hollow table that rocks a little bit, these don't work for you. But if you're like me and you've got a nice solid table, nice solid desk, actually these didn't do that bad. And to be honest, for the price it's cost me to print those and then buy some squash balls, which were like 15 quid, I think, for four, because they're expensive. Uh, sorry, £12 for four. Um, so like probably about $12 as well. The fact that I've had to buy them, print the material off, obviously I've bought some TPU to test this out as well. Overall, I think it's probably not that worthy of an upgrade. And the fact that now you're increasing the height of your printer by... by what's that? Probably two inches. So if you're strapped for height, or you've got the MMU3, this just doesn't help you in that regard but yeah but basically i think if i hadn't already printed it off i wouldn't print it off now i don't think it's doing enough for me in my scenario but again if you've got that rocky table this might be a great thing for you and what i'm saying is if you've got some tpu lying around and you've got some pet g print the tpu balls print the pet g off and give it a crack it only takes four m3 six screws so if you've got a Prusa anyway you've probably got a bag full of them because loads of them come with there uh one thing i will say is when it comes to the ball i will link it i have to shrink it down by three percent to get it to squash into there else it's really hard to get in and out but yeah there you go guys hopefully that has helped you with the update on the on the core one as um like i said it's, it's easy to look at comments you're like oh yeah it's great it's great but until you actually do something sometimes you don't know the benefit and honestly push them to shove I could probably take them off and just get rid of the squash balls but since I've already bought them now I might as well do it so yeah hopefully that helps you guys anyway thank you very much for joining me on this first venture into 3d printing content I will have a full update coming out soon about the core one upgrade and what my opinions on it are as I, uh, I have the LMU3 system as well, so I have the big community edition that I've printed off. So I'll talk you through that. So yeah, let me know in the comments if that's something you want to hear. And also, if there's something else you want me to test out, let me know. Like I said, I'm just getting into this. So it's a new venture into the, the electronics and 
3D printing market. Ultimately, I aim to be able to print things off for consoles when I'm modding them. That's that's the that's the aim. So getting my printer to print as good quality as possible is really important to me at the moment. So yeah, thank you very much, guys. Please subscribe as it helps the channel to grow. And I'm on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So I'd love to do a giveaway again at 2,000. So if we can get there, I'll sort something out. Right, thank you very much, and I'll catch you later.